by farther apart than normal. We are working to enforce that six foot rule to slow the spread of germs. So we have every angle of the coronavirus covered for you tonight at five. So let's start with WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez. Tanya, these numbers just keep rising here in the Carolinas. Yeah, they do, and they could just continue to climb any day now because we heard from Mecklenburg County's health director that they actually have 259 cases that are pending. These are people who have been tested, but they don't have the results yet. Meanwhile, numbers are climbing in both Carolinas. Coronavirus in the Carolinas is reaching a deadly milestone. South Carolina reporting its first death, a patient at a nursing home in Lexington County. Meanwhile, North Carolina now up to 36 cases with positive tests for COVID-19 in Mecklenburg County, nearly doubling over the weekend. So as of now, we have a total of seven. As health officials try to connect the dots on who those people have contacted, where they've been and how they got it, Mecklenburg County getting even more strict on mass gatherings. I am signing an order today that reduces that in Mecklenburg County to 50 individuals or less. That means concerts, weddings, parties and conferences can't have more than 50 people. The rule not applying to the airport, offices, malls or restaurants, but it's still a stricter one than the governor's order, which limited gatherings to 100 people. I think the point of social distancing, right, is that the more that we are not in contact with other people, then the less risk we are have. Uh, we have of, of getting an infection. In Mecklenburg County, they don't like how quickly the coronavirus cases are increasing here. The very real possibility that we have community spread at this point. Um, that could escalate. And so could the number of cases. Health officials still waiting on results from 259 people who were recently tested. The health director says we could see more restrictions soon. I'm just not sure where this will go. Um, it's changing every day. So you heard the president's recommendations about restaurants and gyms. We asked the health director today about whether they're going to be restricting restaurants and gyms. No plans to do so yet, but they said that they are issuing guidelines asking restaurants to have tables that are at least six feet apart and gyms having them like mark off the treadmill so that every other one is spaced out so that there's more space between people as they're working out and to be diligent about cleaning. That's the story in South End for now. I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte. Thank you, Tanya. Breaking right now.